Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of 100 Days of Making Comics and this is C.B. Smallwood. Now for those that don't know or are new to the channel, uh, 100 Days of Making Comics is basically this. It's a challenge that I believe was probably started by Kevin Cross where for 30 minutes a day, every single day, I'll be writing, drawing, inking, coloring, lettering. I'll be doing something to further my goals to become a comic book artist and also making my own comic and I've kind of spun it uh, as a way to build a, uh, a good work ethic so I can become a comic book artist and hopefully I'll get some great art and make a comic out of the process and you know build up some portfolio pieces <clears throat> but anyway with that said uh, let me see if I can uh, Figure out what I'm doing here. Well, uh, first of all, I'm um, I'm a little more unprepared for this video than some of my other videos. And uh, if you're somebody <laughs> that's new to this channel, um, I just want to say that uh, I, you you know I, I, I everything I do is kind of unedited. It's on the spur of the moment, and um, I say whatever flies to my mind, and I don't really go back in these 100 days of making comics videos and I don't go back and edit things to where they're more co coherent um, and um, so I, I think people that you know watch this series of me doing this series kind of know they expect that from me but I think the point I'm trying to make is is in this particular video I am even more so unprepared so I have no idea how I'm gonna, you know, draw this page because you know there's there's a lot of things on the uh, sketched out layout that I did that are not really um, super planned out, you know. <clears throat> uh, also, as I'm drawing, I'm going to try to be very precise, uh, concise. Would concise be the right word? with um the information i'm trying to give you because uh, uh i got kind of short battery life on my uh, phone right now and so i kind of want to you know get this stuff out of the way so anyway <clears throat> uh, i hope everybody's doing well uh i hope everything's working out uh really cool for everybody um now, I usually upload these videos uh, very infrequently. Uh, sometimes I'll record a video from the day before and don't get around to actually uploading it till, gosh, like uh, sometimes a day or two later, you know. That's, that's never good. Uh, you know, there's different reasons for that. You know, sometimes it's life and then sometimes it's just, you know, laziness. Because, you know, whenever I get around to uploading a video, I have to, um, well, other than film it, I do do some basic editing. Uh, usually, like, putting a logo in here and in, in there, and and I have to, um, um, you know, wait for that to uh, get produced, you know, like, get finalized in the editing software, and then after that, um... Then I have to upload my stuff to my computer, and um, then I have to upload it to all the different, you know, media platforms that that uh, I share, you know, my stuff on. And um, then, you know, what time those are uploading? Uh, what I tend to do is, you know, it would help if I actually focus here. Then what I do is I have to make a thumbnail. <clears throat> a thumbnail for the video. Uh, for those that don't know, the thumbnails is these little little things uh, that you see, that you click on. Like when you're, like for example on YouTube and you're looking at what videos you'd like to watch. You see the thumbnail first before you actually see the video. 
So, <clears throat> anyway. I uh, have to go through all that, and uh, you know that's one of the, one of the reasons that you know I don't upload as frequently as I should. Even though I am drawing and stuff every day, uh, just just the the filming and editing aspect of things is is a little tedious. But you know I've I think I got it worked out uh, in the past couple months a system that works well for me for getting stuff done. Uh, even still though, or or whatever. Um, it's not a perfect system, and uh, it's it's still you know I still find it a little draining. So, <clears throat> kind of went off on a little tangent there, I guess. Whatever, but uh, I think y'all enjoy these tangents. Uh, most of y'all, I, I suppose. Um, jeez, how am I going to draw this gun? I always I hate drawing this gun. I'm tired of it. See, I well, know he needs to be pointing it dead ahead. I like that. So, <clears throat> let me give you a little bit of background of what's going on with me. Um, get out of the way of the videos. I did get a job here lately, and uh, I'm doing security. And um, it's my first security job. Uh, it's it's for like a uh, security firm, right? And um, they kind of send me to places and, you know, I guard stuff and I patrol and I do that sort of thing, you know? And, um, well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm currently stationed at a, uh, a factory. I want to say stationed. I, I don't want people to think that all of a sudden I got some, you know, military mindset where I'm like some veteran or something. No, I'm just, I'm just a, I'm just a guard, <laughs> just a, just a security dude. So anyway, um, they got me at a factory, and um, God, this is all wonky. I'll fix it later. I just want to basically get the, you know, the rough gist of it and. It's just like this girl's face, uh, last episode, I believe it, or, or episode four last, I said I was going to erase her face, which, I, you know, I still will. Just haven't, you know, got to it yet. But, anyway. And this guy's face will probably be erased too. I'm mainly just drawing, just have something to draw on this video. And, um... You know, just to talk to you all. And, and also, you know, get the ball rolling. Uh, get a little bit of progress done. Because, you know, I might erase a thing here and there. But there will be stuff that I'll leave in here. And that's just, you know, less stuff that I'll have to uh, draw when, when I get serious about it. And, you know, sit down and really think. And on this page, I really have to, you know, get serious. But anyway, so I'm working security. And uh, I'm doing it at a factory. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I work... Uh, 12 hours a day, and I've done it during the weekend. Uh, that'll probably change because they have a lot of people that quit and that sort of thing. So, I have no clue. Um, you know, where, where they're going to put me, if they're going to keep me at that factory, if they're going to send me to some car lot or, or, or what the deal is, or send me to another factory, you know, and, and have me guard this or that. And also there's different things, you know, there's paperwork, you know, for some of them, some of them you have to weigh trucks as they come in. Some of them you just sit there, some of them you walk around, you know. So, I really, you know, don't know, you know, how things are going to work because, uh, you know, a lot of people quit the job. But anyway, I'm working 12 hours a day at this uh, security thing and I'm, I'm burnt up. Um... Uh, not burn out. I'm burn up. Uh, let me show you. Let me zoom out. Okay, this is this is the uh, top of my arm. And this is the the bottom. Can't really tell well. Let me let me see if I can put some shed some light on this. Let's 
sorry, uh, looking at my sick arm with all its uh, molish, uh, hairyish glory. But then you flip it over. I'm a um, well. Hopefully, you can you know tell. Well, not hopefully, but you know, I think you can tell that you know I'm a really white dude. I'm a I'm a white 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 dude. I'm I'm you know kind of pale, and uh, I'm getting a nice uh, kind of a Native American looking tan. And on top of my head, my top of my head is burnt. My arms are burnt. My face is burnt. I sit in a hot car all day because I don't want to run, you know, waste gas and that sort of thing, you know. <sighs> and, uh, well, so. I'm, uh, I am burnt up, long story short. Kind of ran out of words there because I'm kind of using the creative part of my brain. You know, I'm trying to draw this stuff. And as I'm looking at it, you know, I like it and I don't like what I'm drawing, you know. And uh, this, is, this is one of the, you know, hyper videos. <laughs> I'm trying to get a lot of stuff out there and I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done, you know, and kind of press for time, you know. I got my uh, four or five month old son. I, I I have to do the mathematics in my head. I'm the wrong guy to do that, but he's he was born uh, February the twentieth of this year, you know. So, and right now, as of this video recording, it is June the eighteenth. I think, yeah. So. <clears throat> Yeah, but anyway, he's he's in the next room. He's he's been really cranky the past couple of days, you know, and um, he's entering a new phase in his development. And so having to deal with that, and uh, so I, I've not been really getting a lot of adequate rest because you know he kind of keeps me up a little bit at night, keeps everybody up, you know. You know, I have to be at work at well, I have to get up at five o'clock go to work so I can drive about 30 to 40 miles away and do a security job <clears throat> anyway um, so what's what's my point what am I trying to say well you know I, I, I got a tan the top of my head is feels raw it feels like bacon I mean it, it literally feels like bacon it feels like the top of my head is on fire feels like there are strips of bacon that are burnt that are laying in a skillet and the skillet is my skull and those strips of bacon are, are the flesh of my skull you know so yeah that's that's my job right now and, I, and, and even though I, it sounds like I'm complaining I'm grateful to have a job it, it's uh, bringing money in, you know. I mean, I haven't got paid yet, but it's it's bringing money in into the house, and so I'm I'm grateful for that. Um, but I have to say, you know, uh, today felt like um, felt like I survived something, you know, because I'm just uh, I am burnt, and every time I, I would go outside. Uh, every time I get out of my car, uh, I would feel the I would feel the sun on my skull. I would feel the sun on my arms and on the side of my neck, and it was, I was just roasting. You know, walking around this factory complex, and I was always so relieved to be able to go go inside the factory and, and walk walk that part. And then I <laughs> then I would get a slight amount of anxiety when I'd have to go back out again to walk the parking lot. Um, an easy fix would, would be to get sunscreen, so that, that's on the, uh, to-do list, you know. Part of my uniform, I don't wear a cap, so, for those that are asking, why don't you wear a cap, uh, like, uh, it's not, I guess it's not standard issue to wear a cap. I don't think things would have been half as bad if I had a cap on my head. 
Um, anyway, um, hopefully I can wrap this video up, uh, or maybe I'll let it be a long video, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I think what will end up happening is, uh, I'll get a beep noise and, uh, the camera will shut off for, for a sec, it'll quit recording, you know, let me know it's getting low. We'll, we'll, we'll see, I don't know. Um... You know, and as I said before in the last video, you know, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like, you know, because things change, you know, and that's the, that's the nature of work. But I'm, I'm, going, I'm, I'm remaining committed to finishing the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. And not just finishing it, but, you know, just keep drawing. Just keep drawing, keep, keep doing, you know, my thing. Because uh, I'm committed to... Uh, being a comic, comic artist and the only way to do that is to put the effort in Oof. and I got a million ideas and a million things in my head and it's just hard to not hard but uh, there's just one of me and uh, not enough of me to go around to accomplish a lot of these ideas you know and speaking of me being, you know, sort of spread uh, thin, uh, I think it was, um, uh, uh, forgive me if, uh, if I'm mistaken, I think it was uh, uh, Drawn Sword. Drawn Sword is, is his username, or her username. I think, it, I want to say it's a guy. And if it's not, forgive me. Because, you know, uh, uh, these days, you know, somebody could have a username that says Bob, and it could be a girl, because it could be short for Bobby Joe or something. I don't know, whatever. But anyway, uh, Dragon, not Dragon, but uh, Drawn Sword, <laughs> uh, he made a comment a couple of videos ago saying that, you know, talking about me trying to color, draw, and letter, and ink my book, and... Um, it's kind of a bit much, and, and, and he was insinuating that, you know, I was probably biting off more than I can chew, which, yeah, uh, I agree, 100%. Um, I have a habit of biting off more than I can chew. It's just it's just how I'm kind of hardwired. Um, I'm always um, seeking new things to get into, uh, looking at, um, <laughs> new kinds of entertainment, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm always growing my list of hobbies and these lists of hobbies quickly change into passions and then there's like a gazillion of them and, uh, just not enough for me to go around and it's taken me a long time to realize that. Uh, somebody once told me this this really good saying. Uh, he was a uh, hap keto teacher in uh, Western Kentucky, and he told me that uh, you know when I was talking about you know maybe I could show him some some other stuff that I had learned, and and he just wanted to focus on hap keto, and he he said something that really stuck with me, and I don't know if he meant it to have as much impact on me as it did, but he said, "Jack of all trades." and master of none. Now, he wouldn't say that to be a prick or anything like that. That's that's not what he... That wasn't his intention at all. He was mainly referencing that to him, in him to himself, mostly. Talking about, like, how you can... You can dabble in, in a lot of different stuff, but at the end of the day, uh, out of all those things you dabble, how, how many of them can you actually do really good? And the answer is, uh, nine times out of ten, probably none of them. And I think that sums sums me up really, really good. Uh, and that's not to be derogatory to, toward myself. It's just being honest and realistic, you know. <clears throat> and that's something in the past uh, couple of years I've been trying to change. You know, like martial arts wise, uh, I've I've done research in in. All martial arts, all the martial arts that you could ever think of, uh, and then I started narrowing down my list. You know, it's like I, 
really you know really heavy into shoinru karate and uh hungar kung fu and not not hungar not hung what one am i putting a, a rolling r hungar kung fu and you know, wing chong and southern praying mantis uh uh chow gar you know and um Gosh, what 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 else is there? Uh, all the all the various you know Japanese koi ru and all. I mean, the list is just endless. It's just all kinds of different stuff, you know. And um, well, you know, it got to the point where I was watching all these different videos and I was training with all these different teachers and different places all over the places and. All over the places, you know, all over the region, and and I, I come to realize, you know, like I'm studying with all these different people, and 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 I'm also uh, studying from all these different videos and books and things, and like, what do I got to show for it? I mean, like, there's stuff that I'm learning in my main hat keto class, and I'm not, you know, particularly, uh, particularly. Um, ah, oh, heck, I lost my train of thought. Uh, honestly, I had to get up a while ago. Uh, somebody was hollering at me, and, well, my wife was hollering at me, and, uh, had to pause the video, and I was trying to pick up where I left off. I forgot what I was, what I was talking about, but, but I went, uh, particularly good in my own style of keto. I mean, there was, like, so many different things that I hadn't really mastered, and here I am trying to learn all, all these different things from different styles, a martial arts and like so then that 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 essentially encaps, encapsulates 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 oh those of you that are masters of the english word you understand what i'm trying to say <laughs> that kind of just encompasses uh the the phrase Jack of all trades, master of none. That's me. So, I've been trying to change that. And it, and it's not just martial arts either. There's so many different things where... Where I go wacky doodle with stuff and I just... Oh, I don't really... Jeez, I, I really don't... Focus on the immediate. And... That, that includes art. You know, I finally... Yes, there you go, Brian. You brought it back home. Uh, that includes art. And there's a lot of things that artistically I should have been doing five to ten years ago that I'm having to do now. And, I, you know what? You know what? It, it, it's better late than ever, but still, that's a, that's a lot of wasted time. Um... I guess in my defense, though, I never really had a teacher uh, to to guide me to to kind of reel me in as far as art goes. I just kind of you know I'm self-taught and I'm having you know figure out things as I go and pick up from this video and that book and all this other stuff and but I'm finally starting to wise up a little bit. But anyway. Back to drawn swords comment about me trying to basically draw right color ink letter letter the book myself. Um, a lot of times, you know, I mean, I could attempt to do that. You know, I'm that crazy to attempt to do that. I, I I'm on it. I honestly am. Um, that, that's just the way I'm hardwired. You know, I'm not. I'm not a guy who uh, shies away from a challenge. But um, a lot of times when I film these uh, videos, I kind of say what's what's going through my head, you know, at the moment. And um, and I'm just kind of like thinking out loud. It, it's, uh, you know, a lot of what I say is not necessarily like a, a prepared statement, you know. So sometimes if I speak out of turn or if I say something that offends somebody, you know, please don't, you know, take too much stock in in every single little thing I say because, you know, uh, I'm kind of thinking, you know, off the cuff and that, that sort of thing, you know. So, um, 
Um, yabba dabba do. Uh, when, when I talk about doing all these different things, about distribution, lettering, coloring my own comic, it, it's just my way of trying to figure out what the heck that I need to do, you know? Because um, I have no clue. Uh, well, I do have a clue, but I don't know what what the best approach is and then i'm looking at money how am i going to afford to do this thing how am i going to afford to do that thing and i want to be successful you know i don't i don't want to dream about things i want to make things happen <clears throat> and i've slaved away at grocery stores and restaurants for you know since i was 19 and i'm now in my mid-30s and so I'm not shy about doing hard work, but I kind of feel like it's time now for me to actually start doing hard work for myself, you know. I mean, like, truly, truly for myself. Not not for anybody else, but, but for me. To build something that is for me. You know, not something that's going to make somebody else money, you know. Uh, what, what, you know, I did make money too at all my various jobs, but I'm talking about like where I'm, you know, I'm the boss. Does that make sense? Well, anyway, um, getting back on mental track because, you know, I like to say things as they pop in my head. Um, a lot of what I talk about in my videos is just me, you know, basically spitballing and, just brainstorming, trying to figure stuff out. Um, if I can find a colorist that, that will work at a reasonable price, where I'm not going to have to break the bank, then, then you know, I might go that route. You know, if I can find a letter, same thing there. Which, you know, I may have found a letter. Uh, um, I need to get up with a FWA Storm, F-W-A-H Storm. He's got a YouTube channel. Um, I need to get up with him and sometime in the future. Not right now because I'm nowhere near ready the lettering stage. But when I am, I, I need to get up with him and, and, and figure out, you know, what we could do, you know. Because he made an offer to, to letter the comic. Which I may still try to letter the comic myself, you know. I honestly don't know. Um... So, uh, you know, a lot of times when I'm like thinking, you know, how can I get this book going? You know, like I have to plan for the worst case scenario. So not only do I kind of ramble out loud and ramble in my own head, you know, how to get things done. I'm also trying to plan for the worst case scenario. What if I can't find a colorist or letter to get my book uh, finished you know what if I can't find a distribution company how am I going to do this or that you know and I try to come up with answers you know <clears throat> because you know I don't want to be blindsided and I don't, I don't want this book to stall I want it I want I want it to see the light of day I want it to get done finished get it complete And, um, so hopefully I, I, I explain myself s somewhat coherent to what, uh, Drawn Sword was trying to talk about, uh, when he commented, um, on one or two of the last videos I did, you know, could have been video 43 or 44, it's one of those, but, um, <sighs> This page is kind of shaping up kind of nice. I don't necessarily like all these faces. Uh, these faces will change. <laughs> but um, anyway. Um, but I believe in, in planning for the worst case scenario. And so a lot of what I do is, is just that. I'm trying to figure out what to do. And, and like... If, if you ain't got the money to pay all these different people to help you finish your book, then what do you, what do you do? Do you sit on your hands and, and say that, well, this is as far as I go, you know, 
and I don't want to do it in black and white, and I certainly don't want to do it with that without no lettering. You know, it's got to have lettering. So, you know, it's got to be a comic. It's got to be finished. And so, I think my big thing is like, you know, I got to figure out how to make it happen. You know, I, I it's got to happen. And um, and I believe that when when you when, when your back is pushed against the wall, the uh, necessity. Is the mother invent of 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 invention? I think I, I think that's how the phrase goes. Necessity is the mother of invention. You know, like uh, basically, when when you run out of whatever resources that you need, or you don't have the resources that you need, and you don't have all the tools that you're exposed uh, ex exposure, then you got to figure it out, and you got you got to make it happen one way or another. You know. It's sort of what it means, probably not quite, but you know, that's the way I take it. So, you know, that's kind of what I'm doing, you know, uh, in in a roundabout way, I guess. I'm trying to, you know, figure all this stuff out. In the worst case scenario, you know, it, what if I can't find people to help me finish my book at a reasonable price? You know, I, I want people to be compensated, but I, I don't. I'm not a rich man, you know, and everybody wants to make. Uh, you know, pretty good money doing this stuff. <laughs> and I understand that. But at the same time, it's like, gosh, I don't have the money to give. And I don't, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm not trying to give like a pity story. I'm just saying. So, you know, if worse comes to worse, I will do everything myself. I mean, I know I'll be inking this myself. You know, that, so that'll be no problem. Inking's kind of tedious, though. That sucks. But, um, you know, besides the inking, um, I might color it. You know, I'll, I'll play around with it and see how it goes. And if it goes reasonably well, then, you know, I'll continue with it. If not, I'll get somebody else to color it. I'll uh, save up money and put my pennies away and that sort of thing. Same goes for lettering, you know. So, that's pretty much what I'm thinking. Now, am I biting off more than I can chew? Yeah, probably. And I don't, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew. That's the thing. I just want to, I just want to draw this book and ink it. And of course, write it. But the rest of the stuff, I don't really want to fool with. But the, the fact is, there's nobody else to fool with this stuff for me, you know? And, um, so if I want to make this happen, I, I got to be the guy to make it, make it happen, you know? So that, that is my, not so much a rebuttal, but that's my clarification to, um, uh, YouTube user, um, uh, drawn sword, drawn, drawn sword. Um, I want to thank everybody, uh, Drawn, Drawn Sword, uh, I believe your name is pronounced Yanimal, Yanimal? I, I will learn how to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to double down on watching your latest videos, and hopefully you'll mention your name in those videos, so I know how to pronounce your name right. But there's you two as well, uh, I haven't heard from Abe in a while, Abe Sapien, but that's okay. You know, everybody's got, you know, their stuff that they're, that they're doing. Uh, and then, um, you know, my family watches my videos, uh, give a shout out to my mother and my sister. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my stuff. Um, and oh gosh, uh, on occasions my wife watches my stuff too. You know, she's a busy lady and, um, you know, Chris from Hep Keto class. I was really surprised to hear that he watches my stuff. Uh, that was cool. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch watch this stuff, Chris. And uh, of course, we, you know, Will Avenger uh, catches up with everything. I really appreciate that, uh, Mr. Avenger. And oh gosh, who else is there? Uh, Mr. Uh, Dave Higgins. Thank you, Dave, for 
your input and your insights and, and uh, you know, watching my videos and uh, what other, you know, Flawstorm, F-W-A-H. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Flaw, flaw, Flawstorm. Uh, you know, for the very same reasons, you know, for all the input and, and the support and stuff. And uh, he gave me a shout out in one of his videos, which was really, really cool. And I don't know if I got a chance to comment back on that, but that was, that was excellent. Uh, then there was, uh, A.T. and Andre, uh, I probably pronounced his name wrong, uh, he also gave me a shout out, and, and he's really cool too, um, and, uh, uh, there's Douglas, uh, appreciate that, uh, I think, I believe also, uh, I think Surfer Selfies, I think that's the username, Surfer Selfies, uh, who else is there? I, you know what? I should have made a list beforehand and been professional about this. I've been meaning to do that, and I will do that. Uh, so that way I'm not rambling, but... There, there's like a whole host of people, not just on YouTube, but on different platforms that have been really cool and very supportive of me doing this stuff. And I'm sorry that you didn't really get to see me, you know, really draw here in this last five minutes of this video. I kind of got caught up in what I was talking about. Um... So there you go. Um, as uh, my friend Josh, 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 Joshua, my friend Josh says, <laughs> my English is abandoning me, uh, abandon, abandoning me, getting hyper. Uh, as my friend Josh says, uh, I tend to do a data dump on people, which I guess in, in, in the case of YouTube it works excellent, but as, but in the case of uh, making friends and, and acquaintances, it's not, not a good thing, but I just want to give a summary of what I've been doing, uh, the progress I made on my pages, which is what you pretty much just saw, what my plans are, what I'm trying to do and, you know, that sort of thing and, and where I've been, where I'm going and, you know, my big life journey, you know how it goes. Uh, but long story short, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watches my videos. I'm sorry this is another big long turd, uh, but I enjoy doing them. I, I think some of you enjoy watching them, you know, whenever you have the time. And if you don't, I understand because, gosh, you know, a lot of my videos are about 30 to 40 minutes long nowadays. I'm trying to do shorter ones, and I promise I will. Um, but anyway... I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this video, and uh, please uh, don't forget to hit that like button, that uh, subscribe button, the upvote button, and the follow button, and whatever other buttons that are positive <laughs> to this channel. And uh, if you want to support me, uh, please do that. You know, if you're new to this channel, if you like this video, upvote, hit the like button. If you like any of my old videos, please do that as well. If not, that's fine too. And if you just view my videos, I appreciate that too, you know. So anyway, this is CB Smallwood. And you've been watching another one of my massively long videos here at 100 Days of Making Comics. And hopefully here soon you'll catch me in the next video. Love you guys. See you then.